Hello everybody, welcome back. Doing another Jack Tech. This time we got Pioneer. Magic. That was deep. <laughs> so, I am calling this deck Reckless Servos, because it is trying to cast a Reckless Fireweaver and go nuts with Servos. Um, yeah, so we'll start here. As any good red white deck needs, uh, Cauldron Cat. Cauldron Cat, of course. <laughs> uh, so you've seen this combo before from us in several deck techs, maybe. But uh, of course, you can sacrifice the cat to the oven to make a food, and then sacrifice you, the you food cook to the, the cat, cat in the oven, and then yeah. the cat eats that food, and you get another cat. Yeah. And uh, rinse, repeat. It's nuts. <laughs> Um, it's, it's pretty dumb. Yes, it's, it's good for stabilizing. Yeah, um, but in this deck, it actually does a lot more than that, um, as we'll get to. So I'm I sort of lump these by what they do more so than convert to mana cost. I just put this next to me because MVP That's, clearly yeah, MVP. Um, we have your red white deck. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we have a bunch of cards here. Um, Reckless Fireweaver, this is sort of the main one. Uh, whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, Reckless Fireweaver deals, deals one damage to each opponent. So there's going to be a lot of artifacts entering the battlefield in this deck. Um, Cauldron Cat, of course. Uh, food, food is an artifact. artifact so yeah there's, yeah, there's one half. And of course, if the deck's named Reckless Servos, you can probably guess what the other artifacts are. Yep. Um, then up here we have two impact tremors. I actually would like this to be three, but we only have two for some reason. Um, I only find two for some reason. But uh, yeah, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to each opponent. So it's similar to Reckless Fireweaver, but it triggers on creatures, not artifacts. Which is all, honestly in this deck pretty well just as good as the artifacts. It it's, doesn't. It, uh, it, it also triggers cat. off cat. It, it triggers off cat instead yeah. of the food. So <laughs> you're still getting the one damage. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, then we have three Perforos, God of the Forge. So if I had third Impact Tremors, one more Perforos would be kicked out of this deck for that. But we're running three. Um, so it's a 6-5 Indestructible God. And uh, as long as your Devotion is less than five... Yeah, right. Perforos isn't a creature, but that part doesn't matter so much. The part that matters is whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Perforos deals two damage to each opponent. So it's like two impact tremors. <laughs> um, but it can also pay three to give creatures you control plus one plus zero until end of turn, which if you're making a bunch of tokens, that's actually quite good. Yes. Um, so, decent card there. Um, it's as far as actually getting to the devotion, it's uh, possible, possible, but possible, it's unlikely. But yeah, uh, Sahili would definitely be involved in that. Um, yeah, so those are the ways we have to deal damage to our opponents. And then we have token makers. So, uh, we have a nice 2, 3, 4 here. We have 4 Servo Expedition. So, Exhibition. Not Expedition. Um, but that makes ter 2 1 1 colorless Servo Artifact Creature tokens. And the reason I said the full thing is Artifact Creature. Yes. And it is token, but that doesn't matter. Token, but that's, that's yeah. not as important. So, uh, triggers on both these, of course. Then we have Hordling Outburst. All three of those. Yes, all three of these. Then Hordling Outburst, uh, so this only triggers on these two, but it's three mana for three 1-1 one, one goblins, which they're not artifacts, they're not that exciting. It's not a goblin deck, so you have no way of really pumping them, other than Perforos, but three mana for three dudes is pretty good, especially if you cast it for free after casting a Sram's Expertise. So this one costs four, it makes three 1-1 one, one colorless servos, so... Much like Servo Expedition, triggers on everything, but then it lets us cast something that costs three or less from our hand without paying its mana cost. So if you go Expertise into Outburst, that's, yeah, that's usually game over. Just, just a lot of power on the field. All yeah, the yeah. If, if you have any of these things in play, of course. Um, yeah, and then we have some just miscellaneous things that work really well in this style of deck. So we have two hidden stockpiles. Um, so at the beginning of your end step of a permanent left battlefield, you get a 1-1 one, one color Servo. Uh, if you've got Cat going, that's obviously probably going to happen. Yes. Um, and then you can, of course, pay one Sacrifice Creature and Scry one. So the Scry one's sort of nice, but sacrificing something sort of useless, like a Cat or whatever, is reasonable. But the thing you really want to be sacrificing, Hangerback Walker. Um, so, of course, this costs XX, uh, enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters, but when it dies, you get that many Thopters, and it can pump itself by paying one, 
But if you have a hanger back walker with a bunch of counters on it and a hidden stockpile, you can pop one artifact into several artifacts which trigger everything. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Um, and then we have four Sahili Sublime Artificer. Honestly, this card is really cool in this deck because you can turn those little servos that don't do a whole lot into uh, extra witches ovens, which is pretty fun. Um, but the most important thing that it does is whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you get a servo. So if you may have noticed, a lot of non-creature spells that are making servos. So it yeah, just gives you an extra extra. So it just gives you that yeah. little extra. And, uh, and, of course, the double red, technically, cost is helpful for Perforos if you're in if the somehow mood for that a, sort of a thing. Six five. Yeah, if you're in the mood for that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so pretty good overall. I like it. Um, and then lands, we got a bunch of stuff here. So we have the ice, one Isolated Chapel, Dragon Skull Summit, two Cliff Top Retreats. Then we have our Shock Lands, four Sacred Foundries, one Blood Crypt, two Godless Shrines, two Basic Planes, Two basic mountains and two fast lands, concealed courtyard, inspiring vantage, um, and then we have some actual do something lands with these castles. So castle Embrith, we have two of those. Um, so this is of course enters tap unless you control a mountain, taps for red. But you can also pay three and tap it to give creatures you control plus one plus zero. Oh. So we're making a lot of one ones that could be an alpha strike potentially. Um, and then we have two Castle Arden Veil, same thing but for white, and you can pay four and tap it to create a 1-1 one, one human, which triggers some of these things, but if you got nothing else going on, yeah. not bad. Nothing else, it can always be yeah. walkers. All right. And so, slowly will the point Yes. Out, and impact trenders. Yes, of course. Um, very slowly. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is the deck, and we will see you for some other stuff. Bye!